Maybe something reminiscent of the wild, wild west, but wanted posters are actually coming back to Wayne County. Interesting, perhaps cool reason behind it. This wall used to be a mosaic. People stood in front of it as they waited in line at the Wayne County Register of Deeds office. Well, now it's full of people who are wanted for crimes in hopes that someone might notice someone in those photos while they're waiting. Rod Maloney shows us how time spent in line is becoming more useful. All right, so you're of a mind to maybe check out the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Where would you go? Well, you'd go right here to their website. But let's face it, when was the last time you did that? But if you wanted to do it here in Metro Detroit, you don't have to go online anymore. They have the Wayne's Wanted Wall here in Greektown. There are three categories, federal most wanted, Detroit's most wanted, and those law enforcement is offering rewards. Back in 2015, Local 4 showed you this. At this hour, Dearborn detectives are in pursuit of a bank bandit. They never did catch the snaggled tooth bank thief. His picture remains on the wanted wall today. There's also a missing persons file. Police still looking for Kayla Hunter and Christian Justice, missing since 2014. Their mother, Alicia Fox, is dead. Wayne County Register of Deeds Bernard Youngblood decided to put the wall up in his waiting room. So if they come over here and they start perusing these different posters, they might find somebody and drop a dime on them, call uh, one of the uh, local law enforcement and hopefully clean up the streets of their own neighborhood. And we did find that people really do spend time looking over the postings and it's getting mixed reviews. <laughs> do you think it's a good idea? Not really. Too much information for me. <laughs> you don't want to know. No, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> because there's so many people that work hard for what they've earned, and you have other people going in and taking advantage of that. So it's very good for them to come in and be able to see faces with names, and if they recognize them, they're able to turn them in. What could be next for Wayne's Wanted Wall? Well, maybe a couple more pennies spent on the pictures and make them color. This is online. But they're saying here they're not sure how effective this is, and they want to see more about how it works before they go to their next idea and try and expand the project. In downtown Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. It's interesting. The Register of Deeds does have a crime-fighting arm. It also posts the name of people who steal homes, for that matter. Youngblood estimates nearly 100,000 people a year show up and visit his office every year. A lot of exposures, too.